Hi, it's Karen W. from Kitchener Public Library with a Red Maple nominated book, Kenneth Opal's Bloom, which is the first book in a trilogy. This gripping story begins with teenager Anaya in a helicopter being piloted by a soldier searching an island for her missing father. Anaya's father is a biologist who cannot be reached after ending a disturbing video call where he is clearly shaken by something big. She is worried and the government is worried. So we start the story as they fly to his research station for a rescue mission. A research station that cannot be found. What is going on? The island is unrecognizable to Anaya with all the familiar landmarks obliterated by something that shouldn't be there. It can't just have disappeared, Anaya said firmly. One more circle, the soldier told the pilot over his headset. Anaya shook her head in frustration. It should be right here. All I see are trees, said the soldier. Those aren't trees, she said. And thus the story begins. Yes. We flash back to Anaya's world two weeks before, where she's an average teen living on Salt Springs Island in Canada, going to school and suffering the embarrassment of having severe allergies puffy eyes, acne, and a drippy nose. Her BF Petra shares in her allergic woes with a severe and deadly allergy. Add to the mix Seth, a new kid at school, who is allergic to life in general. Then one day it began to rain, and where it rained, up sprouts spiky tall grasses that grow everywhere. This wasn't just rain, this begins a biological invasion. This grass grows anywhere and everywhere. Worse still, this grass is springing up around the world. And as it grows, it becomes carnivorous and there seems to be no way to stop it. Cutting it back doesn't work. It releases a type of acid and trying to burn it creates toxic fumes. Anaya's father is the biologist who discovers this plant is not of this world, but is part of an invasion. So far, only Anaya, Petra, and Seth seem unaffected. In fact, these three formerly allergic teens feel wonderful, better than ever. Unfortunately, other plants, animals, and even people are being swallowed by these invaders, which are then morphing into vines that grab and eat whatever they catch. Worse still, they evolve into pit plants that are swallowing teachers and students. Can Anaya, Petra, and Seth do anything to stop the invasion? You will have to keep reading to find out and you won't want to put down this page turner till you have. So thanks for listening. It's Karen W. from Kitchener Public Library.